My name is Ilke Arslan, and I'm a catalysis scientist at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratories Institute for Integrated Catalysis. If this white powder looks ordinary to you, take a closer look, much closer. This is a zeolite. A zeolite is a crystalline material composed of silicon, oxygen, and varying amounts of aluminum. This structure contains microscopic channels, sort of like a sponge. There are hundreds of uses for zeolites. The kind in laundry detergent softens water so the soap can lather. In kitty litter, it absorbs liquids, and they're even used to create fuel for your car. At PNNL, our team is studying zeolites to understand how to make better catalysts. The size, shape, and makeup of the microscopic channels determine how the zeolite drives chemical reactions. However, scientists would like to understand more about the detailed processes that occur within these pores. We combine expertise in synthesis and characterization to unlock potential applications in zeolite catalysis. But before we can study these structures, we have to make them. And for that, we go to Marek Derwinski, a catalysis scientist specializing in synthesis. There are many ways to make the zeolites, but today I'm going to show you how to make zeolites of ZSN5 structure. First, we prepare amorphous gel containing silica and alumina mixed together with inorganic or organic template source. Next, the aqueous reaction mixture is heated in a sealed autoclave. The right combination of temperature, pressure, and time converts amorphous gel into a crystalline zeolite. Now that we have synthesized zeolite, we can look at it with a scanning electron microscope. Here we can see its detailed structure and begin to understand how changing the temperature, time of ingredients of its synthesis change the properties. For example, here you can see how changes of synthesis conditions affects crystal size and morphology of the same zeolite. Using scanning transmission electron microscopy, we can get an even clearer picture of the structure. For example, in this image, you can see the crystal structure of the zeolite, as well as the brighter dots that correspond to small clusters of platinum atoms. The location, size, and distribution of the platinum atoms determines many important properties of the chemical reactions. Using electron tomography, we can reconstruct the three-dimensional structure of the zeolite on the nanoscale to obtain more accurate information. Out of the hundreds of known synthetic zeolites, only about 15 are used for catalysis. Our work aims to understand what makes those few special. With this knowledge, we can engineer a more efficient catalyst for new applications such as biofuels.